Hey guys, it's a Sunday morning. I can hear all the music from all the churches here in the park. Um, probably like about three different churches I can he actually hear in the park. You might hear it in the background here a little bit. I can hear it pretty loud here. I'm not sure how much you guys can hear it. But anyway, I want to talk about women expats, okay? Because it's something that we're starting to see here. It's not a lot, but we're starting to see it. Uh, usually it's a married couple, and I'm not talking about Filipinas either. I'm talking about Americans or people from the UK or Australia that are Australian, but they're not Filipinas at all. We're seeing women expats come in here and I'm getting more calls from women expats too. And we're getting some Filipinas that were born in the US or were nurses or went over there as a child and now they want to return here and they want to return to their homeland. A lot of different uh, situations from Filipinas and stuff, they're contacting me. They're also asking if they can join the expat community because they feel more in touch with the Americans, but they also want to be around the Filipinos too. They said that they have, you know, they, they want to have the feel of the best of both worlds. So it's kind of nice being in our community and having that. But also, we got um, a couple here, Ronnie and Johnny. Um, Johnny is is the, the wife and Ronnie is the husband. And they, uh, Johnny is the nicest person in the world. They're, they make a perfect couple. They fit right into our community. And they're just wonderful people. Um, and Johnny loves it here. She loves the Philippines. And she's one of the first... Um, women that come into the group that was not a Filipina okay so it's kind of strange having that um, but it was it was good it works out really really good because we've been waiting for that to see some different types of um, situations come in here so it was nice seeing a couple an American couple come over here and fit in and work out really good they're actually down in Batangas today enjoying themselves down there and like I said, they fit into the community. Awesome. But you know something? There's a lot of women expats here. I see them here. Some of them are missionaries. Some of them are permanent missionaries. Um, I run into them occasionally in the malls. Once in a while, I'll be standing in line at um, McDonald's or something, and I'll start talking to um, an American woman or a, a woman from the UK or Australian, and they tell me that they're here because they're missionaries or what have you. Also, we got some other friends that are also missionaries. I would consider them expats because they live here pretty much permanent. As far as they know, they think that they're going to be staying here permanent. They love it here. And, you know, we, we have uh, this girl, Paula. She's from, she's from the U.S. too, but she's, um, they're, they're kind of like off on their own. They're, they're, they're part of our community too a little bit, but um, we don't see them that much. And I wish we would see them more. But her and her husband, Joshua, they're both missionaries. They, they work a lot. So we... We probably see them maybe once every six months or something. Either we run into them or what have you. But we do consider them close friends and a, and a, um, a, a part of the community too with us because they do come visit us. We're going to start probably in, later on as we grow, we're going to start inviting more people into our group um, barbecues and things. And hopefully we'll get some more women in here so they, these people don't feel alone. And... Um, I want to get all these people connected because sometimes as a, if, if an American woman or a UK or Australian woman comes over here, it can be very lonely because um, some of the women that come over here, they want to have somebody from their country to talk to also. It's kind of nice to have that. That's why some expats like to have um, another expat to talk to sometimes because it's different talking to Filipinos because they have their own culture and their own ways and a lot of things they don't know that we we know from the Western world that they don't know. <clears throat> and they like they don't really have that much knowledge to talk about that. So it's nice to have that camaraderie and everything. And the women, they like to have some camaraderie and friendship from their, their own country too. And sometimes it's hard just having that over the phone with a friend back home or whatever. So, you know, I like to plug these people in with other women expats here. And so far we've got, we have a few. You know, we, we have a few, but one, like I said, one of them gets very busy. She's busy quite often. And it, it's, it, it'd be great if we have some more. And I know we have probably two or three more that have talked to me in the past that want to join our community. I think they're probably going to come here within the next year, hopefully. Um, one of them, I believe, is not married. The other, other one is also not married, and we have one that's married. 
Now, whether they, they come or not to our area, there's, there's talk that they are gonna come to our area. That'd be great if they would move to our area because it would help um, build up the women expat community a little bit in this area too, which, which is nice. It's nice to have some women in the group too because they, we need that. You know, we have a lot of Filipinas already in the group. We also have some Filipinas that we, we, we fit into the group that help, help our community with legal matters, things like that. We have Glenda. Glenda's an awesome addition to our, our, our community. And, you know, we have other people that are um, the wives of some of the people that, that are in our community. We, we also consider the people that um, do some of the work for our community as part of the community. It's, it's kind of very loose, uh, uh, our community, as far as, like, um, you know, who's in it and who's not, you know. But, I mean, we're, we're pretty open to having people in, in the community. We have uh, many drivers some of the drivers out there, we consider them part of the community too, because we like to keep a circle of people um, that work for us. Because these people work well with us and we wanna get take care of everybody that helps us. We're willing to help them and use their services too. And that's, that's the great part. But I, you know, I did wanna to touch today a little bit on, on women out there that, that, that are expats that wanna come. If you wanna come here, this is the place to be. Also, we can with that community, we can put a, a woman in charge probably. I know Bedeck gets kind of busy, but eventually when we have a woman over here that's here long enough, maybe we can put a woman in charge of the um, women's group, even though it would probably be smaller than the men's group. But, you know, to, to talk to people out there in the community like that offer services and stuff um, and bring those people into the group too because maybe we can cut some deals or something like that on some of the stuff. And that would help those people, but it would also help us by giving us better deals and prices on things. And that's what the community is all about. It's about helping each other. So if we help somebody in the community, they help us back a little bit, whether it be prices or what have you. That's the great part of, uh, about having this, this community the way it is. But any women out there that, that, that um, are looking for a place to go, contact me. You know, contact me if you're looking for a place in the Philippines and you know you you don't know where you're not sure where to go um this is a safe place tracy martirez is a very very safe place to go it's a great place it's a very it has a very homey feeling here um and i mean you can go walk in here this is the park a lot of the expats now walk in here early early in the morning before i get here usually and they they go for like their morning walks we have stan he comes down here he usually does like five or six rounds i think nathan comes down here and um, a few other people come by here on occasion and they walk through here. I think even Ronnie and Johnny have, have talked about coming down here, which would be nice. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. And remember, ladies, if you're, coming, if you're coming here and you're coming here alone or with your husband or whatever, think about Tracy Martirez. We'd be glad to take you in. God bless, guys. Take care.